Indian priest Father Tom, who was freed after being kept in captivity for 18 months by terrorists in Yemen, finally reached Kochi this morning. And those are pictures on your screen on the right-hand side of uh, Father Tom, in fact, arriving in his home state of Kerala, where he was greeted by a number of well-wishers. Remember, uh, fa when Father Tom arrived a few days ago, he'd met with the Prime Minister as well as the External Affairs Minister. Let's listen in to what he had to say. If we are coming back home, what is the feeling? Everyone will understand it. That is the same feeling I have. Okay? Thank you very, very much, and may God bless all of you. We've got Vivek uh, Karindalam now joining us on the phone line. Uh, Vivek, this was a journey that took about more than 18 months for Father Tom. You know, an arduous stay where he was held in captivity in Yemen. He's finally made his way back home, but you can see the happiness on his face as he meets, uh, you know, those who are near and dear to him. Yes, absolutely true. He'll be, uh, he will arrive at his ancestral village in Ramapuram, which is in Kotem today after a gap of two years. He was abducted in March 4, 2016. And today, Father, uh, Father Urinalil is scheduled to meet Bishop uh, Emeritus Joseph Palikal Parambil and also other bishops of the community. And also a short public meeting has been scheduled uh, at around 7 p.m. He'll be also meeting his family members today. Remember his younger brother? And his sister is right now in Kotem. He'll be meeting all of them and he'll be back. He, he was back. He was here in, uh, he had come to this parish in 2015 for a remembrance function. But at the same time, we also see that, you know, this whole issue has been politicized. Now that the right uh, Congress is saying that the CPM has not sent any of his members, I mean, any of the member, uh, the cabinet ministers to welcome in Delhi. Now, clearly, uh, the, uh, the, the Congress is also playing politics. Uh, with the uh, you know with this issue, so yes, after fi around 556 days, uh, Tom Urinal is back to his hometown. It is very unfortunate that nobody from the state cabinet has turned out to receive Tom Urinal. Actually, it is not correct, and I feel that it is a la la it is the callous attitude of the state government uh, is very evident in this case. It is very unfortunate that nobody has come up. Yeah, we are all very happy. All the MLAs, MPs, we are all here and we are all happy that Tom, Father Tom Rinal is in his home state. It looks like the Congress is playing some politics out of it because we know that the Vengera election is coming very near. It's, it's happening in, on the 12th of October. Now, uh, what we understand is that, you know, it's a clearly a political statement, uh, but the state government has not reacted to it. They said, uh, you know, but we have got statements from the chief minister saying that, you know, they, they are very happy that Tom Orizanel is back. But uh, no one, uh, you know, uh, welcoming him at the airport is something uh, which the Congress has now tried to make some political uh, brownie points. But yes, uh, yes, uh, it is after 556 days that uh, Tom Urinalil is back and he's here in his hometown after two years. He is here in 2015. And uh, yes, the family, the Urinalil family is planning to make, uh, you know, uh, is planning, to, uh, planning a meeting of their Kudumba Yogam shortly. Once he arrives here at 7 o'clock, there is a meeting in his church in uh, Ramapuram in Kotem.